Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to disassemble and explain how to upgrade a Dell 7710 all-in-one. This is the follow-up to our unboxing, configuration, benchmarking, and review of the well, 7700 series all-in-one desktop PC. And we'll put a link in the top right-hand corner for you if you want to see that. Let's get to the disassembly and explain how to upgrade this machine. Now, as you can see, I have lots of specialized tools. You don't need them. Okay, so the way to open this up is to start up here in the ventilated area and pry it up. There we go. Then take a credit card of some sort, slide it in, hold it, and then take another credit card and work your way around. Trying to pull this up. I'll run my fingers along here now. goes. Sounds like you're breaking it. You're not. It's clips. Nothing particularly interesting in the back. It's crappy cheap plastic. All right, so let's go over some of the parts. The camera assembly comes out with just a couple of screws and uh, it's an easy thing to do, but I'm not going to bother because nobody's ever going to change the camera. So we're going to leave that. That is where you'd put a, a SATA drive, a specifically a two and a half inch either a spinning disc or really an old uh, an old SSD if you have one that comes in a non-M2 chassis. A heat shield for the, and just a protective shield for the system board. So I have specialized tools uh, to pull all this apart, but I'm not gonna use them because I don't think we need to. I'm just gonna use standard stuff. And to get this off, we're going to have to pull off the port adapter cover, which is easy to do. It's, uh, I believe, five screws. The one we've already taken out. Yep, and then under here there are two more screws. All of these screws are the same size by the way, so you don't have to keep track of them. Just wiggle it back and forth, and it will come off. There you go. Nothing interesting to see here. So let's go over the components. Speakers, CPU is here. This is a heat pipe that goes out to a fan, which blows the heat out here. As we've already said, this is for an old SATA drive, which you may or may not want to add. It's a very cheap way to get, you know, upwards of uh, five, six, uh, seven terabytes of space if you want it. Just pop it in. It's very easy. Anybody can do it. This is your Wi-Fi card. These two, and these two wires are antennas. If they pop off, don't sweat it. They just pop back on. This unit has Wi-Fi 6, which pretty much everything does these days. So, um, well, here's the thing. If you're buying a computer that doesn't have Wi-Fi 6, that's a pretty good indication you shouldn't buy it. So I wouldn't buy it because it has Wi-Fi 6. I'd buy it. I would avoid it if it doesn't. Okay, moving past that, that is your hard drive. And you think, holy crap, that's a hard drive? Yep, that's a 2230, which is 22 millimeters wide by 30 millimeters long. And if you have a 2280, which is the more traditional size, you simply take this screw and move it down to here. Well, the screw that's under here, move it down to here. And then you can pop on a larger drive, a physically larger drive. Here's your memory. Now, another weird thing about this particular machine is instead of using two eight gig sticks, they put an eight and a four in. But because this is DDR memory, the D stands for dual, they really should be paired. They don't have to be, but they should be to get the best performance. Easy to change if you ever want to uh, pop these out. You just pry them out. There you go. Pop them in at a 30 degree angle and off you go. When speaking of angles, and speaking of angles, this will tilt. These hinges will tilt. I believe it's 25 degrees, which is a pretty good distance. So your two common upgrades are memory and hard drive. Uh, in this case, it's not really a hard drive anymore. It's a solid state disk or solid state drive, not a disk. And um, yeah, you're probably going to pop a different one of these in at some point in the future. This one's a 512 or 256, I can't recall which. All right, now let's put this back together. Yay! And hey, a little pro tip, if you're pulling this apart uh, after you've had it for a few years or even a few months, make sure you blow this out. And if you can't blow it out with compressed air because you don't have any, just blow on it. Little thing, will make your computer run better. Good stuff. Okay, let's clip the backpack on now. 
Hey, if you found this video useful, please click like. It really helps with the Google algorithms. You can always get a hold of us at www.urteach.ca and subscribe would also be appreciated and leave a comment uh, if you don't get a hold of us directly leave a comment below somebody else will get a somebody will get back to you with some sort of comment because hey it's youtube and there's always somebody with a comment thanks and have a great day bye bye